please like and subscribe for more tutorial for beginners. New videos every day. So, in this lesson, we will create our first product. So, to create your first product, all you need to do is from your all products option, you need to click on this add product button. So, after clicking on this add product button, you will be taken to a page something like this. Now, the very first thing you need to do is you need to just so give a title of the product you will be just selling. So, I have downloaded some images of some products and I will just show you these products as a demo to you guys so that you guys know how these products are being uploaded and given. So, I have taken products from all criteria so let's just rock and roll but you should select your own products and the inventory that's available to you so the first product i gave was a toy so i'm just writing whale toy and in the description box i would always recommend you to like give your own descriptions and edit them accordingly and also you should also give out some of the gf uh, gif images if you have and you should also give up some images uh, some supporting images so to just give the description i will just copy the descriptions from some uh, example description website so and i'll show you how to like give uh, align them accordingly so, so now I will be just copying from this website. Well, this website is basically uh, a website, uh, random uh, detail generator for just giving out random details. So you will need to give your accurate details. So I will just copy this part. Well, I will copy the whole of this part, basically. So sorry for clicking on this advertisement okay and so I'm just copying this whole thing okay so I'm copying this and I'll be just pasting it here so you can see that every one of the details bogus details are just placed here so the next thing you should do is you should add some colors in your labels to do that you need to select your label and you need to choose from colors so if the background of your image is like uh, blue or green you should choose the, that color accordingly so that it gives a little bit of taste in your website so right now I'm just selecting blue so you can just select your one I'm just showing this to you so you should also select these all the headings in blue so and one more thing you should have two to three things when you're selling a product uh, like a paragraph so suppose you're selling a comb so the first thing you need to do is what is why is this comb useful the second thing you need to do is why is this comb cheap and why is this comb more efficient and the third thing you need to like give a heading is why this comb is more beneficial compared to other comps so you need to make two or three pairs in order to attract more clients and to make look make the website look more professional so i'm just giving this all blue uh, colors just to make you understand so you can just select your own ones and yes one more thing in this uh like paragraphs you will have some special words I would recommend you to just select these special words and give it a color as well so give it a blue color as well or you can just give it some uh, other colors according to your one you should always give some highlights in your special colors and that's a well necessary thing for you to do so another thing is you need to also give some GIFs or some supporting images in your detail part or else your all the details will look like blank so I recommend you to give out some GIFs so you want if you want to give some GIFs all all you need to do is go to Google and search for the, the GIFs regarding your products I have also already downloaded my part so 
I will just show you how this looks when you just insert this so in order to insert something you need to click on this icon so you should click on this icon and you just need to click on this upload file button and which will take you to the downloads page and here I have already downloaded my GIF just for the learning purpose so I'm just install giving uh, oops this file is corrupted so I will just choose some other GIF so that it's allowed in Shopify so I have just downloaded another GIF from the internet and it looks something like this well you need to just go to Google and search for your product name and then you need to give GIF then you will get some similar GIFs so I will, I will just click on this insert button and this will be inserted in your website so using a GIF is really really useful so after getting the GIF you should like center this so in order to change the alignment just click on the GIF and from this alignment button change it to center and this will be centered so you can see that you will give the details the more the details the more specific you should give out some GIF, GIFs if you are to give some benefits you should give out some benefits images and all the more images and the more details you place in your details box the more attractive it looks so here is the formatting portion part you can also give this heading one heading two if you want according to your wish you can make this one bold by just clicking on this B button and you can make anything italic by clicking on this I button and then if you want to insert some video you need to click on this insert video option and you can just insert your videos so there are more and more options so let's just go downwards and here is the media part so here you will just so I have just click on this uh, folder media files to extract my images so these are the four images that I want to give in this product so I'm just selecting these four images and after that I'll just select on this open button and you will see that this will just upload my image so you can just change the positions of the image if you want like you can just see, arrange it in your order the way it will come so this is the imaging part next up is the pricing part you'll have a compared price option and you'll have a price option so if you give the compared price option means the price which you want to give at the very beginning suppose you're getting giving the product for fifty dollars and you're saying that the actual price of the product is fifty dollars but for some discounted reason you're giving just it just in thirty five dollar so the comparing price is 50 and you're giving it a, a 35 price well this is a basically a marketing purpose this is only because that so that people can see oh this one is a discount but even if your product is $35 I would recommend you to go to 40 or 45 dollars and give like 35 dollars so that people see that yes it's in a discounted mood so if you go down you you will see that cost per item so uh, if you give cost per item like th they will automatically calculate they will automatically calculate it for you so let's see say if it's the cost of the product is five dollars so you'll just place that five dollars and they will just say how many profits you made and all this will be like more and more important when you are making the spreadsheet so you can charge tax on this product the tax button will be according to the settings where you just inputted your tax so I'm just putting it out for the moment and here is the inventory part so if you have your SKU number or barcode system and you want to tag track your product you can just put up all these things and you can just put on this track quantity but right now I don't want to track anything so I'm just putting this off so which means that our product will be available but if I need to give track quantity I need to give how many available parts if the available parts are being sold it will give show sold out so I'm just clicking out this track quantity for this moment and since this is a physical product and you have some strict rules about your shipping so I'll just give it some weight so let's say I'll just give it a 20 LB weight and 
you can just select your region and the country and here are the variants and here is the way that uh, this will show up in the search engine listing preview well you can change it according to your wish so here is also the variant part we will know about the variant parts in our next lesson but for now I'm just showing you this and you also need to give the product status to be active and after this one you need to just give the product type what is the product type like say suppose it's a toy so let's just add this as a type add toy so this toy part will be like one of your collections and uh, for this collection part you have no collections till now so you're just saying that your product is a toy and you don't have since we didn't do any collection so I'm just keeping it blank I will show you how to do these collections once we are in our collection part and you can also give some taglines this will be easier when you're just searching so I'm just giving whale toy and you can add more like toy space whatever you want so these ones all will be uh, easier for you when you're just searching and when you're just debugging something so this is the template that will be used Shopify te product template there are more templates available but for this page we will be use using this default product template so I um, will be just saving this part so it will take for some time for us to save so after it's saved you can just preview it so you can see how this looks on your website so the page is loading and you can see that how professional it is now you can see your discounted price and you will obviously change these colors that way it will be more attractive and it shows that 15% is saved if you buy now and you can always change your quantity and you can see how the Shopify default template added you to your templates and all and you if you just go downwards you will see that it have its images well you can just change it images to your wish according to your want so if you just go down you will see that the primary image color is set up to this well we can just easily change this image color ac according to our want so you can see that the description is like this though the whale is just jumping around and all so here is the description and here is the part so if we just change our text color it will be more like likely I will be changing my text color in my next lessons so for now you just created your first product page and this is the way it looks you have your footer and you also have your guarantee options so this is all for now so I'll see you on the next lesson